Well, I got into horse racing because of my dad. He's still riding. He's riding in Puerto Rico. So uh, since I'm little, I've always been with him to the morning workouts, to the racetrack. I used to go to school right after school. I just go right straight to the racetrack with him. So I've been wanting to be a jockey since I'm maybe like, let's say four or five. I rode one month and I have in Puerto Rico. And then on February 17th, I went to parks to Philadelphia. That's where I started riding. My family, they always support me, my friends and Scott, my agent. Um, the way he talks to me, it makes me like, all right, we're good. Like, let's keep working, let's keep hustling, let's keep trying to be better every day. Our partnership of, of the business is perfect. I can't say another word, like it's perfect the way me and Scott work. I have a lot of support and motivation I got on me and my girlfriend too, like she's always helping me and everything always telling me I did the right thing, which I know I didn't, but she's always giving me that good support. So it's good, it's good. I always I always have that momentum to keep going. I'm competitive, I just wanna win. And I, I mean, I know these riders, they wanna win too, but I'm gonna try to do something. I'm gonna find a way to win the race. And if I can, I'll try to get back on the horse and try to win next time, but I just, I'm hungry, if that's, that's like an easy word. So I'm, I'm, I'm hungry, I wanna win, I wanna learn more. I wanna do better for myself and that makes me happy. So I just enjoy my job. I love my, my job, I love horses, the, the people outside, the fans. So I enjoy my work, but at the same time I, I wanna be someone. I never want to like stop, like get away from horses. And th this was last year. I mean, no, it was, yeah, last year by January, January, between January and March, I didn't want to race. So I gave a phone call to my dad and I was like, dad, I think I'm gonna just gallop for now, I need time. Like I'm going through a lot of rough stuff. The COVID was going on by that time, so Agents couldn't go in the racetrack. I, business just went down. I had like no help because my agent was trying, but in Tampa, they had, there's a lot of riders, so I didn't have business at all. So it made it a lot harder. So when I called my dad, I explained everything to him. Like, I feel like I just don't want to even ride. Like, I feel like what's going on? And I'm, I'm, I'm that I'm working, I'm there every day. And so I just like, when I told him that he, he was silenced for a couple like seconds and he's like, is that what you want? Like, you really want to quit? I'm like, no, I want to ride. And then keep going, what are you going to give up? I'm going to keep fighting out there.